Why would you do that? It's my life. Happy Friday. Emphasis on a fry because today we're going to be getting fries. We're getting fries because today Potato Corner opened up, which is from the Philippines. And supposedly it's the world's best flavored fries. So, you know, we got to check that out. But yeah, let me just get changed and let's head on over to South Kensington. Okay, so we're here in Westfield. I just parked here because we're going to be vlogging around and trying out the new Fuji X100V. Paying with the Fuji wasn't actually the whole point for today. Um, I was actually going to check out this fries spot that came from the philippines but i thought i might as well just play with a new camera and pretend that i'm a street photographer so gonna be playing this new fuji x100v today all right so we are just heading approaching south kensington high street we are wondering whether it's sold out now because they open up at 10 and the first 100 people supposedly get a free keychain thingy but yeah i don't know Flavor is it? Just chicken. <laughs> oh, just chicken is not flavor chicken. Yeah. Right, so yeah, like I ran into JC, so we are having chips, catch up over fries on a Friday. <laughs> yeah, so this first one I'm having is the sour cream, the sour sour cheese, of sour cream and onion. I like the Pringles flavor of sour cream and onion. That's good. No, yeah, this was subtle. Oh, actually, you know what? It's because some parts don't have as much seasoning. Oh. I like this one. It almost tastes just like normal plain fries, but that like kick to like the sour cream. The seasoning is really good. The fries themselves are really good. Yeah. They like McDonald's. McDonald's fries. fries. Yes. <laughs> so, because I'm mic'd up, I don't know if you heard JC's one, but she said the fries themselves were like really good. They're kind of like the McDonald's fries, but that's that's what I'm like, not surprised though, but that's what I'm like happy that it is because I thought it might be carried by the seasoning, right? And the fries might be like just substandard, but the fries, the fries are good themselves. All right, so this next one is cheese. I mean, I'm not a really good big fan of like a normal cheese flavored stuff, but this one. It's not too cheesy and it tastes like Filipino cheese. <laughs> it's like artificial American cheese. I like it. Too. Mm. I think Hannah would like this one. Yeah, that's yeah, good. The other flavor I got, so basically I got all four flavors. I got, this one's the barbecue. Don't know about the seasoning. I feel like there should be more seasoning for this barbecue one, but. The barbecue taste isn't that strong compared to like the you know, barbecue crisps that we have. We're gonna be decent. But my actual favorite is this. This is the barbecue, the chili barbecue one. So you do get that hint of barbecue, but you also get that kind of kick. And it actually tastes really sweet as well. So then JC got, they also sell chicken. We're giving it chicken. Chicken pops. Can I have one, please? Yeah, go ahead. Try. It's hot though. Is it hot? Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought it was going to be small. Use, like, the ones in Philippines are usually smothered in a lot more Yeah, like powder. I feel like... This is a bit more turned down. I feel like they don't smother it here because I guess they're trying to save seasoning. the stock. The seasoning is expensive. <laughs> the seasoning is probably like franchise from the Philippines, right? So they're trying to like minimize on how much seasoning they put on each one. But it's pretty good regardless, like... Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Oh, but yeah, this is good. I just saw that they have curly fries, which they call loopies, and they have tater tots. So 
I think I'm gonna order some of that too and see how that tastes like. But yeah. Thank you. Okay, so just as I said that I was gonna buy some tater tots, um, I guess she's the manager, saw that. I was vlogging, so perks of using this camera. She hooks us up with some tater tots. Because these look really good. What are these flavored tater tots? Yeah, I think those are sour cream. Sour cream tater tots. Oh. Okay. I love them. It's hot, temperature. <laughs> but it is soft in the inside. Try it. My one favorite thing, actually, they're all my favorite, but I think the tater tots, they kill it. The tater tots are amazing. It's so soft in the inside, and it's pretty nice warm as well. So you can get the tater tots flavored. So they gave us the sour cream and onion flavored tater tots, so I can only imagine what the cheese flavored one is, or the barbecue flavored one is, because, oh my God, my mouth just really thinking of it, so. I'm scared I'm gonna burn my camera. I know, mine wasn't too bad. But yeah, so I just got some Noops hot chocolate, festive hot chocolate with JC. Um, I should recommend this place. And I was going to get a mocha, but then I saw that there was a Philippines uh, chocolate and toxic trait. I had to get it, especially just coming straight from Potato Corner. It's just Philippines Christmas today. Mm. 73%. 73 percent. Is that a lot? Oh, never mind. I was wondering, like... I usually stop, like, Wow, that is good. Is it good? Yeah, dark chocolate. I wasn't a fan of dark chocolate until, um... Hannah loves dark chocolate. Because I'm more like a... I'm on, like, the white chocolate. And... I don't... I hate white chocolate. Yeah, she... she yeah, Hannah hates white chocolate as well. She's it's too, like, sweet. Yeah. But I, I love it still, but... I ended up, like, liking dark chocolate more, so this... It actually tastes real good. Best of spice as well because you can taste the cinnamon, right? Or did yeah. you say what spice it was? Was it? Uh, I assume so it's cinnamon. Cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, uh, ginger. Cinnamon, nutmeg, Orange. cardamom. It's really good. Yeah. Reminds me of winter it's coffee. Wonderland. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of cold. So I kind of brought a beanie from um, Uniqlo just because my head, my bald head was freezing. But yeah, I also did some shopping in Zara to get a scarf. And I'm gonna be walking back now to Westfield uh, cause that's where I parked and probably do some more shopping there. And then I'm gonna take the fries back home and get my parents to review it because they probably had the original from Philippines and we'll see what Filipino parents think. Okay, so I am walking back to Westfield now. I've just been taking some pictures around the South Kensington area and I just did some shopping, just brought a couple of stuff. Uh, but yeah, it wasn't too bad today. Um, I definitely should have gone out a little bit earlier just so I can catch some sun. But it's not like it was um, sunny today anyway, it was pretty cloudy. So I did manage to get a little bit of golden hour. But yeah, it's freezing now. As you can see, I brought a uh, beanie. I also brought a scarf and a jacket from Unita and Zara. I'll um, show you in that haul later. But photography wise, it wasn't a bad day today. All right, so I'm on the way home now. It's a productive day. Managed to take a lot of photos. Um, I'm not the best street photographer or best photographer in general. So today was good practice. But yeah, today was productive. I was able to go to Potato Corner England, which was amazing. The fries, 10 out of 10, man. I know seasoning. I'm definitely coming back for it. Um, and yeah. I did a little bit of shopping, uh, just some winter clothes for New York next February because it's going to be cold there. So just trying to prepare for that. I'll show you guys the haul later um, when I get home or maybe in a car. But first, I've got to go to Costco because i got to buy some rice and some Costco water because Costco bold water is banging for the price. I don't think I could ever drink any type of water. It's better than Evian sometimes. But yeah, it's rush hour right now, so it's going to be traffic. So I just got myself some iced coffee from Starbucks. This is... The Ice Brown Sugar Oat Shake and Espresso, which is my favorite new drink this year. So I beg you, Starbucks, don't ever take this away from me because I'm a cry. But yeah, gonna be stuck in traffic for a good hour and a half, I bet, because it's Friday night. And just be sipping my coffee on the way to Costco. Peace. Gotta shake that. 
Okay, we are here. That traffic was so long. I was probably in traffic for like two hours. But yeah, we're back in ends. We are in Costco. Don't know if you can see there. Did a little bit of shopping before I go home. Yeah, uh, that's my extent of vlogging. Um, still trying to get used to it. Trying to get back on that vlog. Copper churn. It's really cheap here actually. Much cheaper than if you were to buy it in the stores. Alcohol here is so cheap. Even with VAT and tax. Like if you're throwing parties, Costco is the best place to go. Oh my god, where's the water? It was crazy. Everyone's kind of looking at me right now because I've got this big camera on the trolley. But you know what? I've been vlogging all day today. Don't really care what people think, but that's the thing, man. Kind of just getting used to it, getting used to vlogging in public again. And you know what? It ain't bad because you're probably not going to see these people like ever again. Um, they might think you're crazy, but you know, who cares? Oops, sorry. Yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> it's my life. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's Costco sponsorship. Um, no, I'm joking. It's not. It's just. I mean, even if it is, right? I know, right? One day. I'm, I'm, I'm sponsoring the chocolates. Oh, wow. The one thing about Costco is the prices look cheap initially, but once you get to checkout and you see the VAT, boy, it is, it is a bump. But yeah, not too bad though. So these two rice, so two rice bags, two coffee mates, three huge waters and a Patron. Actually, it only cost me 70 quid. So normally a Costco trip probably cost me around 100 or so. So this is kind of like a cheaper Costco trip, luckily. We got two bags of rice. This is like 12 pounds each, I think. Good rice anyway. Of course, we've got to get a coffee, mate, for our coffee. Really nice coffee creamer. Don't forget the alcohol, the Patron. The Patron here is actually so much cheaper compared to like the shops outside. 30 quid that, normally you'd be paying like 50. Ah, it's kind of bad, but I've gotten addicted to like this Kirkland spring water. Um, prefer it compared to tap water. We have, a, we have a water filter at home, but sometimes it's kind of long because you have to wait for the filter to like filter the water and sometimes it's not cold so that's why I've gotten used to this it's only three quid so <sighs> normally normally last me quite a while <sighs> yeah that's it so yeah so that's it time to go back home I'll show you my shopping haul when I get back You know what, yeah? That interaction of that lady in the lift, that's normally what I kind of dread when you're vlogging like in public, you know, like everyone's always wondering what you're doing. And you think they're judging you, but I just realized she genuinely was like just a curious person. Like, what am I vlogging for? Like, I genuinely think no one actually cares why you're vlogging, you know? It's more like they're just curious, you know? As humans, we're just curious people. And, and yeah, normally that gives me a lot of like social anxiety, but but like once you're in that situation, it actually isn't bad. And so yeah, I call that progress for me, you know, that's like another step in being able to vlog much more comfortable and, and also give you guys some great content um, down the line. Uh, today's been kind of boring just because it's been a day off and I thought I'd run some errands. But once I'm in a mindset again, we're gonna come up with some good ideas, vlogging for a couple of people. But yeah, let's go home because my phone's on like 2% battery. So I need to get that charge in because I need to post a couple of things on social media. All right, let's do a quick haul now that I'm home. Um, I've been using a mic. I've been using my lav mic all day just because my shotgun mic broke. Well, my first item that I got was actually from Uniqlo. I saw it was on sale. 
I just needed a variety of um, winter jackets, so this is a checkered one. Uh, not sure how I feel about it yet, but it was on sale, so I thought I'd get it before it sold out. Um, this is that. Uh, I guess I'm going to wear this with a darker top, darker bottoms. Might wear it tomorrow uh, when I go out. Oh, and I also got this beanie from Uniqlo. Uh, I got it because it was kind of cold and my hair, and because I've shaved my head, my head gets so cold easily and I started getting a headache so didn't think that through when I was shaving I had to pop it to Zara because it was just right next door to uh, Potato Corner and I got this nice scarf I just need more woolly scarves uh, it's almost like an Acne Studios dupe um, I was thinking of wearing it with this jacket but do you reckon that's just too much squares too much checkered I might end up looking like picnic basket not a fan, not a fan. Return. This was a nice one. Acne Studios dupe. Maybe I'll buy an actual Acne Studios scarf one time. I think this will have to do for now. Uh, matches my lighter jackets and shit. But yeah, this one, definitely return. Unless I find a nice, unless I find a nice outfit for it, we'll see. I think I need to try a lighter trousers or a turtleneck or a hoodie. That might be good, but yeah, peace. I wanna drown inside this. I, I, I wanna drown inside this. Go down and I, like, I, I, Captain. I, 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 I never had a vibe this far. They were all so shiny with their three eye vision. Take this moment, I'ma die inside it. I am pariah, I am Mariah. Words they carry, don't trust the silence. Gotta fill it all up, like, 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 like.